Hello, I'm Gail from GG Evergreen Bonsai and today I'm going to talk about Pinus Mugor. It's January and it's coming up to repotting time. I have nine Mugors and um, three different varieties and I wasn't quite sure what I needed to do ready for repotting so I did a little bit of investigation. Apparently late summer is the ideal time to repot. At first I thought, oh, I wanted to get these repotted in the spring, but to be honest, it's a bit of a relief. Um, I've got that many to repot, um, so being able to do these in the summer um, is a lot better and eases off the amount of time that I've got to spend doing the repotting. This Mugo is a winter gold, and I've actually got three of these. Um, the terminal buds have been produced and I have removed the centre ones there, so we've got two buds. Um, on each of these branches and you can see it's got a nice thickening trunk here and I actually haven't done anything to this um, Mugo yet um, we've got some smaller branches there and some thicker branches now Mugos are different to pines the way that the lateral buds and the back budding will be produced now according to my research Usually, um, a pine, you remove the needles and then it back buds where those pines have been removed. It's not the same with mugors. Apparently, where the old needles are, that's where they like to back bud. So these lateral buds will come through where the old needles um, are currently. So this raw nursery material will be ready in the summer for me to prune it and just need to make sure in the meantime it gets plenty of light and water however they don't like to sit in water so make sure that the roots get a lot of drainage i have two winter golds here bought from different places and this one i started to style last year this one i haven't touched at all this tree is a pinus Mugo Nom. Now I started to wire it last year. A lot of these branches were upright, um, so I have bent them to be a little bit more lateral, being straight there. And we've got some nice little branches starting. And again, I've uh, removed some of the terminal buds there. And what I'm looking at there is to see if I prefer it without the top part. And I think, I am. I think I'm going to remove that centre leader there. You have this as the new leader. So I was thinking when to cut it back and my magazine that I looked in which is Bonsai Today and um, it's got a little part there where it says it says the best time to cut the trunk back is in winter although late fall is also good so I'm going to cut the top I'm going to use some secateurs here take that down to about there And then I'm going to put the cut paste on to protect the wound. So I'm not actually going to cut anything off this tree this year. So I'm going to put a little bit of cut paste there to protect the wound. I, I wired this Mugor um, at the end of last summer. And again, I did remove these needles so i'm really really hoping it is going to backbud 
but you know, I can't grow them back now. Um, so all I can do is try to encourage them and keep it a healthy plant. I'm going to cut these wires now, um, just in case when it does start growing that they're not. So what I'm going to do now is I've got to take the wires off so that they don't dig into them. This way has been on for quite a few months. So I'm going to cut some, some I'll try to pull off because I like to reuse the wire if I can. So I'm going to do this very, very carefully. So where you've got the more delicate branches at the end there, I wouldn't unravel the wire because it might snap them. So I'll just cut them with the snips. So some pines look lovely with the wire marks in as well. So it's purely up to you, but I prefer to take them off at this current time. So I will ensure that they are regularly fertilised during the spring and the summer, ready to be pruned and repotted in the late summer, probably July or August. Healthy trees can then tolerate repotting, root pruning, branch pruning and wiring at this time. However, if you do so, you need to leave it for two to three years to recover. Unlike other pines, mugors can react badly to repotting and root pruning in the spring. It can make them weak or they can even die. Mugor pines react better to a summer repotting. The ideal repotting time is after the first flush of growth has extended and is cut back, usually before the end of the summer in July or August. During the spring, the buds will elongate into candles. To ensure the growth is extensive and regulated and the energy is dispersed evenly throughout the whole of the tree, they need to be pinched back to preferably two buds. This will then in Make sure that your tree is vigorous and strong for the coming year. Although the magazine article is based on the development of black pine seedlings, elements can be applied to a more mature tree. There is a plan for each stage of its life, one up to 15 years and the other up to 33 years. The first Mugor had a similar trunk and root ball. So I found this article very interesting and hope to follow similar stages. So we have a 10 year plan I'll have to decide which parts I'm actually going to remove. This has got double trunk, got very, very, th got, I presume, a very big root ball under there. So in the summer, I'll have a look and see how I can separate some of these roots to make them into a, a nice nabari. So 
Over the coming few years, I will be removing some of the bigger branches so that we have smaller, thinner lateral branches coming out from there. And it will be a very long process, but it'll be worth it to, for it to be a beautiful tree. I'm looking at this one. This one should be quite nice to remove some of the bigger branches because it's got quite a few of the smaller ones there, which are ideal. So I'll cut back quite considerably over the next few years. Do not take all the branches off at once. As I say, it's a long process. If you cut a couple of the bigger, thicker ones off every couple of years, so it's a really, really sort of long-term plan to design your tree. So I think what I'll do in the summer, I will start to draw out um, a sketch of these plants. So I have a plan of each year, which ones I want to remove, which of the larger lateral branches I'm going to remove. And as you can see there, there's a really good example of what I was talking about. So where I'm pointing with the pencil, there is an old needle there. And then we have a lateral bud appearing there. And again, we have quite a few running along this line. So they do tend to like where the old needles are, which is different to black pines, which appear where they've been pulled out or pinched out. So if I pinch out some of these terminal buds and hopefully it will encourage some back budding along that branch there. So it was only a quick video, but hopefully it's been informative. Um, reading up on things like this is really important. Keeping informed you know don't just because these are pines don't presume that they're the same as the other pines they are different so we need to treat them differently as well so hopefully over the next few years i'll be giving some updates these ones particularly are going to be my long-term ones so 10-year plan for these and i just need to make sure that they're healthy over the next coming months ready for the summer ready for their repotting and um, pruning Let's see how they get on. Thank you for watching. Bye.